Okay, I'm back here and the bottle cap getting spot. Been wanting to come back here for several months now. Last time I came here, they wouldn't let me come under here. So I'm glad they changed their minds because I'm sure we're going to find at least 500 to 1,000 bottle caps. There's a good one. I've sold these for up to $30 a piece. Just look at all this. It's incredible. I just scratched my hand through the dirt. All these bottle caps just started spreading out and all over the place. Just so many caps, it's ridiculous. Have you ever seen anything like it before? Okay, got a few hundred already. Just look at all that. Just goes and goes. Goes a hundred feet that way. But just all over the place. There's one, there's one. There's a Dr. Pepper. There's another one. And of course, all kinds of other odds and ends. Of course, I can't film the whole thing. There's another local mail cap. Another cigarette packet. So I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm not going to film all this. It's just going to make it too difficult for me. I'll show you all the loot when I get back. It's getting pretty close to full. Plenty more to go. Okay, I'm back home. I've got a bucket of over a thousand soda caps. About a hundred milk bottle caps and a few beer caps. So it's going to take me probably five days to clean all this stuff. I'm sure you can't wait to see what's in here. Okay, I've got the first batch of them cleaned up, approximately a hundred of them. So let's look at the better examples. This is a pretty nice cap right here. Seven up from the late twenties. I didn't even think seven up was around that long ago. And here's one I've never seen before. I don't know if this is a beer or what. I'm going to have to research it. Okay, this one has a lot of local interest. I found two of them on the first search and just one this time. Sold one for $50, so that's definitely one of the best caps out of the whole thing. Probably going to keep this one. It's from Selma, North Carolina. Possibly as old as 1917. And a Fleming's Pale Dry Ginger Ale. I think this is better than any of the examples I found last time. It's nice and shiny. It's from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Okay, that's not exactly a bottle cap, but it's pretty interesting nevertheless. It's got something in it. I guess it has the original nickel paste, whatever that is. Okay, I found a pair of these Arrow Specials. These are pre-1920. I only found one the last time. And of course, most of the caps are Coca-Cola, and about 98% of them are from Rocky Mount. So this will probably be the only one I show you. And there's a scarce one from Wilson. And here's one without a city name at all. And a big frosty ginger ale. It's pretty rare. I think it's unknown to exist actually. And another big frosty, but this one doesn't actually say ginger ale, it just says pale dry. That's a nice clean example and I haven't seen one of these before. Okay, the next batch has been cleaned up and here are the highlights of those. A knee-high grapefruit aid. It's a pretty rare variation. You don't hear of that flavor very often. And a good grape. 
No city listed on it though. And a knee high chocolate with the lady's leg. And a big frosty. I don't believe I've found one of these before, and this one's in very good condition. And a big frosty grape. And a new grape. It's in pretty bad shape. Smashed up pretty bad. But it's a pretty rare one, so I'll keep it. And a 7-Up that says Lemon Soda. From what I found, this one's about eight times more rare than the other variation. And here's a nice example of the other variant. And the Fleming's Ginger Ale. This was unknown to exist until I went under there and found a few of them. It's a Coke product from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And this is nothing special. I just thought it was unusual the way it was smashed flat like that. And another non-bottle cap, but I thought it was interesting. It was smashed perfectly flat like that. And the next batch produced this one. Some kind of a beard I've never heard of. I'll have to look this one up to see if it's even listed. And a pair of the Pilot Dry from Richmond, Virginia. They're both in better condition than the one I found before. And a Try Me. That's the first one of these I found. I was being very careful with these caps too, but somehow it has fresh scratches across it. And the first Pepsi cap to show up. It's pretty straight, but it's not in the best condition. And this orange soda. It's a generic one, but I think it's fairly rare. But then, a Mavis. This one is much shinier than any I've ever seen. This was bottled in Goldsboro. Probably a few other places, but that's the only one I actually know for sure. This one doesn't have a city name. And another Knee High. This is the grape flavor. And a ginger ale from Fleming's without the Fleming name on it. And a good grape in really amazing condition. And another good grape that's in very good condition of a different variation. And the first orange crush cap of this variation must be an extremely early one from about 1921. And a new icy. I thought this was kind of interesting. I found a broken bottle with the cap still crimped onto it. But it's a clear bottle. Why would a Coca-Cola cap be on a clear bottle? And there's a different variation of a knee high. It's the first one of these I found. And another one of these really neat looking Fleming's ginger ales. Okay, we got another knee high grape. And another knee-high grapefruit aid. And a knee-high chocolate. And a different variation of the good grape. Here's one I haven't seen before. A new icy root beer. It's an interesting color as well. And then another Tarboro, North Carolina. Coca Cola in near mint condition. And we have one from Henderson. It's the first one of these I've seen so far. And an orange crush. And the first Schlitz cap to show up. Well, out of this batch anyway. And it has the foil dot on the bottom. That's the only cap I've seen like that out of all these thousands of caps. A gold tone, knee high. It's the first one of these I've seen. 
unfortunately it's very dark pretty hard to read it unless you got strong light on it and another Malvis but what is this is that bull rock it's too bad it's in rough shape I mean it's generally in very good shape but the B is missing and so is the K and it's a knee-high bottling company, so that's rather unusual. That might be unknown to exist. And another good grape, but this one is in extremely good condition. And a generic grape soda. I didn't think I could beat that first trip under the floor, but I think I've already just about done as well, and I've only looked through half the bucket. Okay, I got a lot of melt caps as well. I'm not really showing those too much because they're mostly duplicates of before. But this one's rather unique. It's from West Virginia. A Raven Red Ash Coal from Raleigh County of Beckley, West Virginia. That's definitely a very unique milk bottle cap right there. Okay, got a gray bola. This one's in better condition than the other two I have. Alright, I found a buffalo nickel in there also. It's a 1919D. I think it's a rare one because I looked on eBay to see what they've been selling for. In the last six months there hasn't been a single one of them on there. And it was probably only four or five years old when it was lost. So it's in very fine to extremely fine condition. And another knee high, this one marked with Henderson, North Carolina on it. And a good grape. Maybe the best condition of any of my family. And another good grape in extremely good condition of a different variation and I was lucky enough to find yet another Pepsi cap too bad about all that rust on it hopefully I'll be able to figure a way to get rid of that without ruining the paint then a new icy ginger ale is that what that says it's a little hard to read and another of these rare knee-high that's what I call the gold tone knee high. There's only a few of these in there. I'm thinking it must be the earliest variety from maybe 1920. And another knee high. This one's in very near mint condition. If you're curious to know what flavors were popular in the 20s, all of my found said either grape or chocolate. And another of the extremely rare Tarboro Coca-Cola caps. Possibly the best condition one out of all of them. And a new grape. It's in really great condition considering it's probably about 95 years old. And a gold tone orange crush. It's also probably right at the 100 year old mark. And maybe the best condition. Of and plenty of milk bottle caps as well. I'm only going to show you a few more of those. Here's a Maverick or generic one. That's pretty interesting looking though. And here's a modern dairy. It's the only one of these I found. And we have this milk cap. I don't know if that's Eden, North Carolina. But I didn't see any of these in the first time I went over there and a nice looking knee high with a gold tone maybe a copper tone I don't know what you call these but that's definitely a nice cap right there so that's about it okay what'd you think about that pretty amazing huh probably 1200 caps were in there 
took me literally a month to get them all cleaned up and sorted out. So, like and subscribe this video if you thought it was worthy.